so today's a super exciting day. Today is the seventh day since me being back and I can go and get a COVID test to prove that I don't have COVID so that instead of being in quarantine for two weeks, I can be here for only one week. Truthfully, quarantine hasn't been that bad this time around, I guess because I haven't been around my family for a long time. So even though it's not that bad, being in the house for another week, solid, not being able to go outside and meet people and see friends and all that stuff is, you know, just a bit annoying, but it's fine. So that's what I'm going to do today and fingers crossed. Dexter. dear mother goose and I we're on our way to get a COVID test at the mall until you get your COVID test second one since you get into Israel the police come okay. and they check that you're at your house every one to two days and so I hope that they don't come and check if I'm at my house while I'm not at my house <laughs> while I'm going to get a COVID test they also send you a text message and they basically offer you if you want to give them your location instead of them coming to your house every one to two days and I opted out of that because I don't need anyone helping my location except my family so that's it I hope it's gonna come out negative and I will show you guys the place where I grew up I found it. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. It wasn't terrible. She didn't shove it so far up my nose that like she made scrambled eggs out of my brain. It was okay. But um the funny thing is like I knew this, but I didn't know how much it would like hit me being in Texas for a year where everyone is super, you know, southern and polite and like you're in the supermarket and they see you from like 5 miles away and they're like, "Oh, I'm sorry." Like they're taking your space or something. Here there's no space. It's like very very narrow parking spots everyone's in each other's faces I come in with you know my phone to film and the girl already protested like don't film me and I'm like I'm not filming you the Israeli mentality is very very strong and very much like you're not a sucker like no one can take advantage of you and you will protest if you feel like someone is taking advantage of you so I guess I guess I'm used to that but not really anymore so I'm realizing that it's also super tempting is to sort of live your life like with your fist up when your nation is used to surviving and when I mean surviving I mean has a history of you know wars and persecution and the Holocaust and things like that it's probably so ingrained in the mentality to think of, of survival I wonder how much of that mentality I came to America with and how much of it I sort of could leave behind I think I sort of I probably did I probably did leave some of that behind because there wasn't a lot of confrontation when I was in Texas there weren't neighbors that were loud there wasn't anyone fighting for a parking space there was enough space that you didn't have to confront anyone if you didn't really want to and so I think I really 
need to remember to try and be as kind as I can without being unnecessarily vulnerable, if that makes sense. Because I think vulnerability is a strength, but it's not a strength at all times with everyone. And so there has to be some kind of balance. How long do you think it will take to get our COVID test back? Tomorrow we'll know. Tomorrow? Yes, yeah, Saturday. We'll see if it's actually tomorrow. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Emma has faith in the system. <laughs> oh, it's automatic. You'll see it tomorrow. I feel like the phrase, mother knows best, takes on a new meaning <laughs> when she says that you will get the COVID test results tomorrow and you do. She really does know. But um, yeah, I got my COVID test result and I am COVID free, which means that tomorrow I am going to work and to Jerusalem for the first time in a long time. And I'm also going to hang out with friends that I haven't seen in a while. So I'm actually really looking forward to it. I'm actually really grateful for my friends. They're the type of friends that you can, you know, not see each other after a year and it'll feel like you just picked it up where you left it. And it's very genuine and um, they really care. They're just really great people. And I think if you have good people in your life, you should do a lot to keep that in your life. You know, I think some things are worth investing in. And the truth is, we didn't talk as much during this year. I think I sort of was disconnected a bit and MIA um, between the two time zones. It's either seven or eight hours difference between America and Israel. Um, and yet still, we we just love each other like no days have passed. And so I think I'm going to really enjoy tomorrow. So. I think it's probably best that I go to sleep, so... Good night!